Good day everyone, we are Group 25 and we are going to present our integrated design project which entitled Portable and Wearable Body Support for Prolonged Standing Tasks. My name is Lee Zizan, and I would like to present about problem statement and objective. A common problem working in laboratory is having a poor ergonomic posture or standing position when carrying out their activities or lab tasks in a prolonged time. Therefore, this will result in muscle fatigue, especially in their leg, back pain, joint stiffness, and many more. Other than that, students are working in restricted workplace in laboratory. Therefore, regular chair is not suitable to use in lab because it consumes a huge space at a limited workplace. For long term, this problem will lead to lower their work efficiency, quality of work, and affect their health. To overcome the problems, a new design that entitled Portable Wearable Body Support for Prolonged Standing Tasks is developed and fabricated. The objective of the product is to determine the design requirement of the device from students who are exposed to prolonged standing at lab in UTEM. Next, to analyze the technical specification of the device based on design requirement of potential users. Lastly, to fabricate a medium fidelity prototype of portable and wearable body support for students in UTEM. That's all for me, thank you. My name is Lim Jie Xiang. I will continue with the product description. There are some of the components is crucial toward the product fabrication. First is the upper road. The primary function is to support the user types. For the lower rod, the lower rod is used to withstand the load from upper rod and the upper weight of the user. Next, for supporting bar, the function is to support and stabilize the structure of the product. Moreover, the function of the telescopic handle is act as an adjuster for adjust the seating angle. Furthermore, for the cam stay, there are four cam stay that has been used in this product. Which two unit is located in between the upper rod and lower rod, and it is used to empower the switching of various seating angle. Meanwhile, the another two unit is located at the bottom of the lower rod and act as the height adjustment on the lower rod. Besides that, the use of rubber stopper is to provide the frictional force to avoid the slipping occur. Lastly, the wearable body support unit is used to release the user's back pen and is attached on the product upper rod to form a portable product. Next, the video below will show the demonstrate on the step to don and doff the product. The next video will demonstrate the step to use and retract the product. This product has three characteristics, which is firstly, safety and ergonomic. This is due to this product is fabricated based on the Malaysian ergonomy. Next, this product is the lightweight and simplicity prototype. This is due to this prototype use simple mechanism and easy to use. Furthermore, body balance and postural control is also one of the uniqueness of this prototype. This is due to this prototype have a various observation in sitting angle and sitting height. Good day everyone, my name is Choi Jun Hong. I will continue to present the process parts of the product. For the manufacturing process of the product, some processes must be followed to manufacture the component of the product that is primary cutting, drilling, joining, and finishing process. Firstly, for the cutting process, it has two methods to progress in different parts. The first one is the cutting process for body parts by using a hacksaw. It is used to cut the aluminum hollow bar and the pipe to the dimension required. The second one is the cutting process by using a portable grinding machine. This method can help to remove a large amount of materials in a short time. Next, for the drilling process, 
it is using a portable drilling machine and also a milling machine. In this product, a drilling machine is used to make a hole in a different size of to put in the bolt and the rivet bullet. Besides that, for the joining process, it is also has two methods. The first method that using both nut and washer is called fastener. It is used to join the main parts of the product. The second method is called riveting. In this product, riveting is used to join the upper rod and lower rod with the supporting bar. Lastly, is the finishing process. The first method is finishing process by using files to temper the sharpened edges in the product and then process to the second method that is spray painting. The purpose of this method is to improve the attractive adhesive corrosion resistance and avoiding scratching. Now, I am present the cost parts of the product. This picture is the build of material of this product. In this picture, we can clearly understand all the parts used and the total price of this product is 171.55 cents. Besides that, the cost estimation for fixed cost also has been calculated. Table above indicates the fixed cost for one month. The fixed cost that has been calculated is 17,080 cents. Lastly, for the variable cost of the production of this product for one month, it is only included electricity and water bills and the total price for variable cost is 750. Next, I will talk about break-even analysis. We assume that 50 products are produced in one month. From the calculation, the production and manufacturing cost per unit is 356.60. The profit margin for 12% is 42.79 cents. So, selling price per unit is 399.39 and and the co unit contribution is 227.84 cents. Hence, it is proof that the sales of a single unit at 227.84 cents is capable of covering the fixed cost. From the calculation here, we get the break-even analysis is 75 unit, and the break-even value is 29,954.25 cents. Therefore, a total of 75 units is required to be sold out to break the even. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nurul Atikah Benti Zakaria and I will continue the presentation with the product analysis. First, we go to finding element analysis which is a performed by SOLIDWORKS static simulation at upper road, camp stay and lower road. The first component is upper road. We can see at the slide, the maximum stress is acting on upper road component between joining hole upper road and lower road. Based on this analysis, the structure component ability to induce stress without fail has a high probability. Camp stay is the next component. According to analytical results, this component is capable to generate the maximum amount of force that prevent the user seat from sleeping as well as serving as a connection point between upper road and lower road in additional this angle also adjustable following that i will move on to the lower road as can be seen the bottom part of the lower road will extract the majority of the force required to support the weight so that can maintain the center of user during seat. Next, I will continue the presentation with ergonomic analysis. First of all, is the variable back support design. When you stand for a long time, your pelvis is often pushed backward and increase the curve of your lower back. This puts increase of pressure on your support tissue surrounding the spine causing your lower back muscle to tighten or even spam as a resulting in pain in joining the nerve of your spine. Then, we provide variable back support design so that can help relieve a lower back pain that applying a little pressure to the torso to ensuring proper posture when used. Next is upper and lower design. Prolonged standing can strain the muscle in lower back and legs which can lead to edges and pain. This 
this comfort position usually get better with sitting or lying down to rest the back. Overweight students may be more at risk for muscle fatigue that occur when standing or walking. This design allows users to walk around freely but have an instant support once they get into a bending, squatting or crouching position. This will reduce the number of instances where students feel physically strained. So, could potentially reduce absence or early retirement. The last design is handle. Without the handle, if user want to walk, they need to bend their body to grab the lower road. In order to make this product more ergonomic, we add another component called handle. Since the handle located in between upper road and lower road, the user doesn't need to bend their body to take the lower road. This can provide unstable position and back pain. Tapi biasa saya sah tak pakai benda ni. Sisi je duduk pun memang sulit sangat lah. Dan duduk. Okay. Then you rasa you feel tak stress tegak kaki you? Kalau tegak kaki kurang lah stress je. Tak ada macam kalau diri lebih stress lah. So kalau pakai benda ni memang tak ada stress lah kat kaki. Then you rasa benda ni berguna tak? Untuk guna dalam lab? Memang boleh berguna sebab kalau lab tak ada kursi so senang lah kalau guna benda ni boleh duduk je kat mana-mana ok thank you ok jadi saya risau tak you pakai produk ni jalan saya risau saya risau hi I am Nur Ezra Amira and I will proceed about the product sustainability when it comes to sustainability how the product adds its life is often as important as how it lies during the design phase we consider the environmental aspect in each stage of the product development process, striving to achieve products that have the lowest possible environmental aspect throughout the entire life cycle. This is the sustainability result based on sustainable minds of air. The result shown for the impact per functional unit is only 0.098 millipoints per one year of use. By total amount of the service delivered is set to 100. During the usage phase, it produces zero carbon footprint. The way to dispose of each part is recycling, so there is zero landfill and zero hazardous waste generation. There are four goals for sustainability development are use minimal materials, minimize manufacturing waste, produce green products, and to make sure each part can be recycled. This product has simple design by using a few materials as possible. It is to make sure each part can be reused and recycled. For the first material is aluminium. Aluminium is considered a sustainable material because it can be recycled directly back into itself over and over again in a true closed loop. It is also the most cost effective material to recycle. The second material is polyvinyl chloride, known as PVC. PVC is the most toxic for our health and it is not so good for the environment either. However, PVC offers a cheap cost compared to other types of plastic material. This is why we choose PVC to reduce our cost in this project. Thirdly, carbon still have a good impact toward the environment because it is easy to be recyclable compared with most of the material at the end of the product life cycle. However, the recycled steel is always need to be combined with the virgin steel to produce the product due to the lack of the steel being recycled. Lastly, rubber has an average impact toward the environment. It has slightly affect the ecosystem because rubber is polymer of the isoprene which consists chemical. In a nutshell, it is critical that we develop a device that make performing standing tasks significantly easier specifically for our intended audience of students and industrial workers. This is because users are performing their tasks while standing for an extended period of time, resulting in back pain. As a result, the products that exist will undoubtedly aid in this endeavor. The primary advantage of this design are its portability and easy of wear. When this portable and wearable body support is employed, it contributes to the relief of bodily discomfort by guaranteeing good posture. 
that's all from us thank you for your time